Hey guys, Wander North here, and this is episode three of the Let's Play series I'm doing for the game Project Hospital. So last episode, we have a radiology department, and that consists of a waiting room. As you can see, who is this? Lisa Cole. Lisa Cole is going into our x-ray room, lying down and getting a x-ray. So that's what we made last episode. We're expanding our little clinic. And today, on this episode, we need to uh, beat these two objectives. Treat 20 patients per day and reach 2,000 daily profit at emergency. Now, the clinic, as you can see, emergency. So this is the emergency department. So we need to make the $2,000 profit here. Let's see how it's going. We have three doctor's office. We've seen 12 patients so far and treated them. And the insurance companies, this is how much they're sending us, which is 30. I'm kind of thinking we uh, we almost could almost could have another doctor's office. Hmm. Maybe we will do that. Why not? Just to make sure we can. Uh, see and treat all 30 patients they're sending us now. So one, two, three, four. Let's keep it the same. Two, three, four. Like so. Span the hallway a bit. Get some walls up. We do have this nice brick wall for the exterior. Do the white wall for the interior. And we can, since we're expanding the hallway, delete that like that. Oh, and you gotta change that wall to white. There we go. Now, how about flooring? Is this the same? Yes, it is. And we used a different one for the offices, the doctor's offices. All right, now. Let's zone this as a doctor's office. Like that, we can expand this corridor. Let's just do it like that. And then you click on our new office to see what they need. Uh, we'll get a exam table. I'm gonna kind of keep it the same as the other offices that we have. Just because the, the layout worked good. Can change the color of this. Maybe a blue. Blue could work. Now what else? Uh, let's see here. Office desk is a good thing to have. DC. It needs a printer, office chair. Let's keep the blue theme going. Needs a medical light. There's a biohazard. Plop it down there. I do like getting a little chair for the patient to sit in. Eye test. It will do a tall. Um, should I do a tall one? Like switch her up a little bit. Equipment table. How about one, two? Because I do have to put that on there, that on there. Instead of getting a sink, I'll just get disinfectant lotion there. That looks all right. Put a door to get in. And I did put little windows. Oh, that's not the right one. There it is. There we go. Oh, can't forget, you gotta hire a doctor. Higher staff, 
general medicine, 57%. Diagnosis, 67. Christopher, oh, he's very good at that. You're in, Christopher. Here we go. And he will start seeing patients right away. There's our little notification screen, it says next patient. So here's our next patient, Jordan Lopez. Instead of uh, doctor control, let's try controlling this one. See if we can heal him. Well, so far in the initial interview, itchy eyes, fatigue, and red eye. So that was easy. All it could be is hay fever. That's what our doctor says. And to fix that, gotta give you some pills and send you home. That was easy. This doctor's really good. <laughs> Jeez. You may be on your way, sir. Give you the prescription. Eat it up a little bit. There you go, 100 bucks. Lower down. Let's take control of this one. Christopher Allen. He has warmth. Who has a bruise. That's all we know. Now we can. I don't want to. Let's do a physical examination first. Because our options is x ray lower or upper. Well, let's examine where exactly. Like, where is the bruise? Is it on the lower? Doesn't say. You need to know where these bruises are there, Christopher. Okay, it's all foot. So let's x-ray the lower. So there he goes. He's going to get an x-ray of his foot. Let's follow him. Oh, he's already in there. Get in the x-ray. There's a foot up on the x-ray. There we go. So it's a foot contusion. But he needs numbing ointment. Unfortunately, he'll have to sit back in this waiting room to see the doctor again. While we wait, why don't we take a look at Linda Johnson. Six hidden symptoms. Oh, dizziness is one. Loss of appetite, a beef tapeworm. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. Objective complete. Treat 20 patients per day. That's $20,000. Oh, she does have a beef tapeworm. Oh my. Don't eat undercooked beef, apparently. Oh, gross. Get out of here, Linda. That's. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Yikes. All right, well, kind of stunned by that, that diagnosis. Uh, treat 30 patients per day, that is our next thing. We get sent 30, not one more. So we have to actually treat every single one that comes here. If one goes home untreated, if we don't have something that can help them, we won't get this next uh, mission. Speed up there, I'm waiting for my, oh, there he is, Christopher Allen. So we gave him the numbing ointment. We can send him home another satisfied patient. We're making pretty good money. Let's see our total. And we want to make $22,000 daily profit. Seems like we should be making but well, we are short right now. But no, that's construction because I built that room. So that's why that negative 7,426. I wonder if that'll eat our profit. Maybe I shouldn't have done that construction. But we have 29 patients. We have two waiting. If we can... Oh no, is the clinic closed? Is that why they're not getting seen? No, we're one short. Oh, he was waiting, she was waiting on lab results. Sarah Allen. Oh, 
We couldn't. Oh man, they left without being uh, cured. Darn it. One short of the tree 30 patients a day. That sucks. The clinic is almost done though. We will be able to fast forward to the next day and we'll have a full day with that, th that fourth doctor. So unless they have something weird wrong with them. Uh, we should be able to to cure them. Well, there we go. We did do that. Reach 2,000 daily profit in our emergency. Oh, treat 25 patients. I guess that was another. Oh, nice. Holy cow, we did like three objectives. Uh, reach 70% prestige at the end of the day. Wow. Okay. We uh, did a lot. So next... Next on our list is same thing, treat 30 patients a day, enable, that's the new one, enable hospitalization at emergency. Here's emergency. So we want to do hospitalization. How do we do that? Maybe put them in an observation room? Because this is hospitalization. Missing required rooms. Missing required staff. We need a trauma center? Maybe just an observation room. Many various examinations can be done here. Patients are under proper medical supervision. Maybe that's all we need. I don't think we need a trauma center. Let's see, insurance. Does it give us any more hints? It rewards us with an, with an intensive care unit. Uh, yeah, enable hospitalization at emergency. Okay, well, I guess we can work on that. Well, some construction is needed. Let's make the long-term stay, maybe down like here. The hallways are by three, yes. I'm just gonna expand the hallway like this. That's where we want this hallway to go. I also have another hallway. I wanted the hallway to go around. Okay, I know this is just hallway building, but it's nice just to kind of plan out where the where our little hallways are going to be. Then I'm going to delete some walls. Maybe like that. It's usually like waiting areas are kind of open. Okay. And just to finish that off, the hallway down here. All right, so what do we need for hospitalization? Assuming for sh we'll need a, probably these, I don't, we'll do the, the on-call room, nurse's station, observation room. But I don't know if we'll need more than that. If we do, if we do need the trauma center, then we will build it. So, what do we want? How do we want to build this? Maybe the hallway. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. The hallway will continue like so. This could be like an on-call room. And then the hallway, will that work? Oops, on button. Let's do this. That'll be the hallway. The hallway continues like that. Is that big enough for a on-call room? Let's try. On-call room. Oh, it's not. 
car. Hmm. That's okay. I don't know what we're going to use that room for. for but, um, maybe like a cleaning closet. Probably what it would be best for. Well, let's do this then. Nine by nine, that gives us tons of room to work with. Uh, on call room. Oops. Have it like. Change my mind. Let's have it this way. That'll be the on call room, and then we'll have a nurse's station here. And then maybe we will, the observation room. Where do we want the observation rooms? Maybe not like the hallway here. That'll work. Foundation, um, kind of like this. And the observation room, because this is the hallway. Like one can go here and then up. Oh, wait, they both can be the same size. Like that and like that. That works. Put some walls up. And then a outside wall here. Regular wall there. Regular wall there. Um, that'll be an outside wall. This will be for future expansion there. I can get rid of, that'll be the hallway. The hallway wraps around like this. There we go. All right, what do we need? for the observation room. $3,000 for a modern hospital bed, or we just do the cheap one. Which one should we do? Should we just go all out so soon? Yeah, let's keep, we can always upgrade this later. We get more money coming in. We do gotta do two rooms. We'll work on this room first. Actually, or should we just double up? Let's double up. A bed. Go like that. They are gonna be very much the same, but you know, that's fine. Medical light, boom, boom. Let's do a bed socket. What else do they need? Mobile workstation. Put it close to the bed. Uh, all mounted, let's do a cabinet, but like that, Make sure that works. Garbage can be over there on the side. We'll, we'll do a advanced monitor. Uh, instead of doing the sink, let's just do an disinfectant. Spencer, a wall defibrillator, and we need these two things, so that needs a equipment table. That works. That, there's that. And yeah, that should be good to go. Nice. So let's put a Door. Now, do we want a window? Yeah, I've seen windows on these. I'll put on this. Yeah, like that. That that works good. Finish it off with some flooring. I'll make this the same. 
this, we can do that, the hallway right around. And you know what, let's just keep it all the same. There we go. Now I want to get rid, because that's our hallway here. Okay. We have two observation rooms, we really only need one, but hey, why not? Now we want the nurse's station. Oh yeah, we already planted down. So let's click on it and see what we need. We have a bunch of stuff. Desks. Um, unless. Uh, where is that? Let's do like a reception desk. That looks a little bit better. Now, the computers, when you place computers, that gives you how many actual staff you can have in a room. So, should I just plot four down right beside each other? Or should I space them? No, I do want them spaced. Let's go back to this. We will have to expand this room. But I'm fine with that. Well, the foundation is already there. Perfect. Let's expand this wall. Like that. I will delete... Oops. Delete this wall. Go to the actual room. Nurse's station. Let's expand it. They need the room. Then we can plop another PC. If we need three nurses, we can. Because we do have three computers now they need meal trays uh maybe they can grab it like that that works and stretchers like that that works uh, equipment cabinet and that's really all they need. Oh yeah, the PC is still lit up because they need somewhere to sit. Let's do white chairs. One, two, three. All right. A scrub shelf. Nurses do need scrubs. Let's do a tall one, just to dress it up a bit. Don't really need that, but I like the look. I finish the flooring. All right, nice. Now let's get a on-call room. Doesn't need much. Maybe I should just expand it. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it. Why not? Make it all nice and even, both these rooms. Uh, on-call room. Add it a bit. There we go. Office desk. One, two. Yeah, we need to fit in as many desks as we can so we can plot computers down. Every computer you have again that every computer gives you a staff. You can put a staff in that room. So the more computers you have, the better it is. Uh, let's keep it white. Two, three, four, five. And we have room to throw in a little couch here. Maybe a bookshelf. So if they're waiting, they can read. Don't have much room for anything. I, I can throw in a radio for them. There we go. And just throw in a door. Okay. Some flooring. Let's put some nice, like, wood flooring. There we go. You know, that looks alright. I'm liking that. What 
do we need? We got searchers. We need one daytime doctor, one daytime nurse. Uh, what? Okay, all doctors needed to. Oh no, that's a. Uh, what kind of doctor we need? Specialize in acute medicine. Uh, acute medicine, fifteen percent. You do an intern. Uh, do we want an intern? Let's find new. Acute, twelve, sixty percent, eighty-three. Okay, you're in. So we have a daytime doctor, nighttime. You're crazy good on acute also. And then we need just one oh, a nighttime and daytime nurse, and they need to be good in patient care. Here's the nurses. We are on, well, let's keep it on nighttime. Patient care, 65%, wow. And then daytime, looking for patient care, 47. I think we could do a little bit better than that. 67. Ooh, 69. Let's do that. 9%. All right. Oh. It is blinking. Why is it blinking? I guess we missing rooms. So we do need a trauma center. Okay. That answer that question. Um let's put it. We do need a trauma center. Let's continue this hallway. I'll put the room kind of like this. And then the hallway will come down like so. The walls up. Oh, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. That'd be big enough. Maybe I'll make it one more. Now I'll need to expand the hallway. One more. Do the walls. Expensive project. All right. Trauma center. Oh, there we go. Objective complete. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Enable hospitalization at emergency. Our reward is an intensive care unit. Very nice. But we need to fill up. Ooh, that's this is gonna be expensive room. Which way is the right way? Probably like this. Then we need a two lights. Um, okay. Anesthesia workstation. Oh, so I am kind of, oh, I am flipped the wrong way. But I can't. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to delete it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's rotate that. Let's drag it. That'll go there. Uh, mobile workstation. That can go anywhere. Plop it down there. trash can I'll put it kind of over there do a wall defibrillator Could kind of put it close in case they need that put the cabinet there because we can chuck something on top of it 
Sure. It's some kind of sink, but we'll put that there instead. And medical lights. Okay. That, that cost us a lot of money, but it is done. I wonder if we should put a double door, because... Yeah, this room's a lot bigger than it needed to be, but I don't mind. Make it all look nice. And we definitely need to get that wall down so we have access. There we go. Oh, I see a little bit of mistake of outside wall on the inside. Okay. That's it. So if someone needs to stay like overnight, we are capable of that now. Let's see if anyone needs it. I, I'm very curious. We'll speed it up. We have four doctors ready to go. Anyone needs to stay the night, we are capable. Oh, there's our first, there's our first patient. Whoa. Okay, let's look down here. <laughs> Who is this? Jennifer Green. Ooh, he either has broken ribs or chest contusion. That's why she is staying. She had breathing problems, a bruise, a chest injury, major pain, and redness. Okay, so that's definitely why. Look at that. You can see the ribs. That's so cool. That's why she's staying over. Oh, they got the stretcher, putting her back in her room. There she is. Oh, and she's good. Guess we fixed her. 360 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> wow, look at her little clinic. We even have a area for people to spend the night. Wow, it's already full. Both of them are being used. Good thing we made two. I was unsure about doing that, but I'm definitely glad we did. But I think that will that will be it for today, guys, uh, this episode. Uh, if you like this episode, please give me a like. I appreciate every single one I get. And if you want to keep following this Let's Play or you're interested in any other ones I'm doing, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. So i just like to say thanks, guys, for watching. It's been a blast, and I hope to see you next time.